is about why I do not want to be wealthy. I hope you give me a chance to explain. Hi everybody and welcome. Today's topic is why I choose not to be wealthy. And before you get all excited, I want to share with you a disclaimer. I'm not stereotyping anyone. What I'm about to say is my feelings and the things that I have gone through personally. But there's some wealthy people in this world that are very giving and loving. But I'm going to share with you my thoughts on why I do not want to be wealthy. Now, I bet you're saying, well, of course, Tessie, you're saying all of that because look at you. You live in what people would call a poor or poverty. <laughs> it depends on how you look at it. I live very frugal. I live extremely frugal. So why wouldn't I want to be rich? Why am I telling you that I don't want to be wealthy? When most of the world is striving to be wealthy, is striving to live that comfortable life. I bet you're thinking to yourself, oh, she's just saying this to get a video out, to get some views on it. No, this is how I've always been. I don't wish to be wealthy. And let me explain to you why. What many of you don't realize is I grew up very comfortable. And in the 70s and 80s and 90s, I would be considered wealthy. I grew up in a home where we didn't have a want for anything. We were able to go on very extensive trips we were able to do whatever we wished. Now, my mother was a very frugal woman, but she could have almost anything she desired. Now, she wasn't the type that go out and spend and go to the malls and things like that. But I lived a very comfortable life. I lived a wealthy life on both sides. I know what it's like to live real comfortably, and I know what it's like to have hardships. And I have a lot of perspective on the both. While money does make the world go round, and yes, having extra money would help in many areas of everyone's life, the reasons why I choose not to be wealthy is these reasons. The number one reason is you're always chasing that mighty dollar. I've seen so many people in this world, they're chasing it, they're working themselves to a bone only to buy things that really doesn't make them happiness. You see, I'm all about the perspective of what brings you happiness. Of course, having some money does help you, but becoming rich does not bring happiness. Another thing I've seen is the more money that people come in contact with, the less they are realistic about the lives of others. Not be wealthy and feel what others go through than to be wealthy and have no clue. See, that's where I come in. My experiences in life were anyone around me that was wealthy absolutely had no clue what it was like for the middle class and the lower class people. They didn't know what it was like not knowing where their next meal will come from. They don't know what it was like not having enough of gas and reaching in the car seats looking for quarters and dimes and things like that. They don't know what it's like for the people the mass majority of human race. In other countries, I would be considered extremely wealthy. Wealth is a matter of perspective and where you live. I had the opportunity to travel far overseas. My favorite country was Haiti. And as a small child, that really was impressionable on me. I really, really enjoyed seeing that and understanding it and learning from it. I'm a very impressionable person. That's true. Another thing I see a lot in the wealthy people is they're very stingy. Now, like I'm telling you, not everyone is this way, but the vast majority of people are. They're stingy. They want to hold on to their own mighty dollar. They want to hold on to it. They don't want to help anyone else unless it benefits them. I've seen that happen hundreds of times. They'll help somebody else if it helps benefit them, you know, taxes and things like that. 
don't have anything against people that are wealthy. I have against their actions and their interactions with others. I choose to not be wealthy. I don't want to be wealthy. I choose when I have extra to give it away to help someone else. That's how I choose my life. Because I don't want to ever get to the point where my money is more important than other things. Some people have goals and their goals are to save money so they can buy this and they can buy that. I was the girl who had the rental properties at one time. <laughs> I had a house and rental properties as well. It was such a rat race, wondering, making sure they're going to pay their rent and making sure that this was done and that was done. It was not much fun in life. I choose to live simply, to own simple. My footprint on this ground is to be simple. I choose to live in a simplistic world. Maybe some will look at me and say, well, you are full. Maybe I am, but I'm the happiest fool that you'll ever find every day. My happiness is real. It's not fake for the camera. I am a truly, genuinely happy and content person because I chose that in my life. I chose to give up all of that other stresses. I know I did a video, one of my first videos about my fa financial freedom. As you see in my introduction, I tell you I was over $300,000 in debt because I was part of that rat race. Back in 2007, we were in the foreclosure business. We would buy places that were very cheap and we would fix them up. And when the real estate market collapsed, we were left with all of these properties and nobody was buying. And then in the midst of all that, I had a life altering experience. I had a life-threatening emergency with no insurance. I promised my Lord that if he would get me through this, I would change my life and change my perspective. And I did. I've never looked back, and I'm so happy that I have. You see, in life, when you're at your end of the road, you're not going to look upon all of the properties that you own or all the beautiful cars and the diamond rings and the fancy jewelry. You're not going to look about that at all. You're going to look about what your life meant and money is not going to have anything to do with it. I can guarantee you that. One of my closest friends was an elderly man and he worked his whole life to strive for that dollar. And he realized at the end it really didn't matter. He said one time, how did I get so old so fast. I don't want to strive for something that in the end isn't really going to matter. What's it going to matter when you're on your deathbed and you own everything? What's it going to matter? You can't take it with you. Now, of course, I come to you with a faith that's very deep. I come to you with a strong faith and I believe in the afterlife and I believe we have a choice to make. So my perspective is that of a conservative one. So of course, my mentality is going to be a little different. But I've seen so many people who sit in church and all that they're doing is thinking about how they're gonna make that next buck. How are they gonna make that next dollar? It's not about money. It's about your life and what you're doing with your life. I've been on both sides. I've been here and I've been here. And I think the happiness is in the middle. I don't believe you should be in living in poverty and I don't believe you should be living in wealth. I think you should be in a happy medium. I think you should always see money as a tool. Also, always see money as something that can help others. It's not always about ourselves. It's about helping others. Some of the biggest givers that I have been around are ones that are silently giving. And that is where we want to be. We don't want to broadcast to the world, we did this and we did that. A humility. So maybe my heart to heart today stepped on a few people's toes and I'm sorry, but yet I'm not because these are my feelings and these are my core beliefs.
I think the more we receive, the more we should give. That's always been my thinking. And I believe through it is where we find great satisfaction in life. These are a lot of things to ponder. And I'm passionate about them. I'm passionate about striving to help one another. Maybe you don't have any money and maybe you are living in poverty. It makes no difference. You can help someone in a tangible way even more by being there for them, just being their friend, listening to them. You know, that's what it's about is humanity. Our humanity, you know, what we can do for others. So no, I don't strive to be wealthy. I don't strive for any of that. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, okay, Tessie, but what happens when you're 70 years old and you don't have any money? You know, I've seen the richest people in the world die without hardly any money because it took it all away. It took all their money away. I think your attitude has a lot to do with the longevity of your life. Maybe I'm a fool for that, too. I believe people that are optimistic and positive, I do believe that they have longer lives. And I do believe they have better lives. That's my, that's my beliefs. You know, I've seen people that were so bitter and have so much hatred in their life and their health represented that. And then I've seen people that lived such an open, beautiful life and their health showed. Yes, some things happen. That is true. Bad things happen to good people. But you know, I believe that the Lord would take care of everything. He scoffed at that, that idea. But you know what? At least I live by my word. At least I live and I show my life exactly how I feel. So I want you to think about, do you want wealth? And why do you want your wealth? Maybe you're like me. Maybe you just want to be live comfortably and not have extra wealth. Because the more you have, the more responsibility you have. And maybe I just want to go through life living simply and having simpleness in my life. And that even means the wallet. You know, you learn to appreciate things a lot more when you don't get it. And you know, the, if you could buy anything you wanted in life, you wouldn't appreciate what you have. You know, a lot of parents say they make their children work for something because when they work for it, they appreciate it more. And I think I appreciate things so much more than if I could just get it on a whim. So I don't choose to be wealthy. I don't choose to win the lottery. I don't choose any of those things. And I may be a little different, that's for sure. I used to be called eccentric. I am a little eccentric, especially in this day and age, but you know what? I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. So what's your ideas on wealth? Are you like me? You believe that the more you're given, the more you should give? How do you feel? Are you someone who wishes to be wealthy? Explain to me why. I love when my subscribers interact with one another. I think it's neat. Not everybody's going to think like me, and not everybody's going to think like you. That's what makes the world go around, don't you think? So, I hope I stirred some thoughts in your brain today, and I hope I gave you a little bit of food for thought. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.